Brainlife.io is a free cloud computing platform for neuroimaging data analysis that encourages reproducibility through data sharing and open software and makes neuroimaging possible for everyone. Want to see it? Come take a look. Brainlife offers a few fundamental components for neuroimaging data analysis. Once a user publishes their code on GitHub, they can register an app on Brainlife. Apps are created by the Brainlife community for the community. Any Brainlife user can use apps as mainstream analyses pipelines for functional, structural, and diffusion MRI analysis. And they can run apps on Brainlife's shared computing resources. At our core is data. We use data types to ensure interoperability between our apps, and users can choose to share their data publicly or keep it to themselves. Lastly, a huge resource for our users is our computing resources. Anyone with a BrainLife account can take advantage of these free computer resources. The best part is BrainLife will automatically find the best open resource to run your analysis for you. Pretty cool, right? Now, let's dive just a bit deeper into BrainLife. In the projects page, you can organize your data sets, perform data processing, and share your research with project members. Take a quick look at our publications page, where you can see quite a few people have found BrainLife essential to their neuroimaging research. The publications page gives users a snapshot of the data sets and apps used in a research project, and it gives them the ability to reproduce the work. Best of all, the BrainLife community is always willing to help you and always excited to talk about neuroscience and computer science in our Slack channel, which everyone is welcome to join. Hopefully, we've given you a glimpse into how brain life can help you, but there's so much more to it. See for yourself. Simply go to brainlife.io and click the sign up button to begin working on the platform that is going to change the way we think about and perform neuroimaging research. BrainLife is funded by the National Science Foundation and the National Institute of Health. 